Hi everyone, I heard a story today that made me think about how closely connected fear and temptation can be. And the story was actually about a man who went to a physical therapist. He wasn't dealing with temptation, but he was dealing with a lot of pain in his lower back. And after he worked with the physical therapist for several weeks, he was released from therapy and the physical therapist said, just make sure you don't react in fear when you feel pain. And the man that was receiving therapy said, well, wait a minute, I'm not supposed to have pain again. That's why I've been coming here for so long. And the physical therapist said, the reason he was telling him that was because um, there are so many people who are released from therapy. They think everything's going to be fine. They go about their, their daily routines and one day something happens and they feel pain in that area that was treated and immediately fear hits them. They start thinking, oh no, is, is this going to happen now? And is this going to happen? Is this going to happen? All the things that happened before. And the physical therapist shared with him that in itself can cause, say if it's in your lower back, because it was in this man's lower back, it can cause the muscles in his lower back to tense up. It can cause all sorts of reactions in his body, which in turn can cause more pain. And that got me thinking about temptation and fear and how so often when we are hit with different temptations, a lot of people on this page um, are tempted with looking at pornography or tempted to lust after another man, after another woman, anything like that and all the condemnation that can come along with that and a lot of fear can be involved in that. For instance, if you are a woman who sees another woman who's attractive, you're not lusting after her, but you find her attractive, fear can quickly come into the picture and distort everything you can start thinking, oh no, here we go again. And your body starts to release all sorts of chemicals and hormones. And your body, just from the fear, will automatically take you where you're not wanting to go. And that can be the same with pornography. You accidentally come across a picture and you think, oh no, and fear hits you. And just from thinking, oh no, here we go again, here we go again, how can I stop this? How can I stop this? Just by doing all of that, and yes, we need to make wise decisions, but just because of reacting, from reacting to the fear of it all, it can cause us to go right in that direction that we're not wanting to go in. So it got me thinking about how important it is, and I've said this so many times, and it's what has helped me, and now I see even more why when we're tempted or when we're hit with condemnation or when any kind of temptation hits us, it doesn't have to be sexually related or not, when we're hit by that and we start thinking, oh no, now this is gonna happen and this is going to happen and this is going to happen, whatever we run into that causes us to start going down that trail we need to focus on God instead of trying to fix it. And yes, again, we need to make wise decisions, but instead of trying to get us out of this mess and to change it and to fix it and save ourselves, we need to look to God and say, God, I am turning to you to be my protector right now. You are my comforter right now. You are my comforter and I need your help. I need your comfort. I need your protection and to change our focus from fear to God because he's ultimately the one who is going to protect us. Anyhow, he is our comforter. He is our protector. And it just got me thinking about this. And I wanted to share that with you because I know so often we can go through situations where panic will hit us and we try to fix it and fix it. How can I fix it? And we go into panic mode 
because we don't want to fall again or we don't want to lash out at someone or we don't want to do what we did last time or we're afraid that this other person's going to do what they did last time instead we need to stop breathe <laughs> and turn to God and say God I give this to you I give this to you and um, I just wanted to share that with you today I hope it encourages you this really encouraged me today and um, just helped me understand this a little bit more and to see things just in a slightly different perspective so I hope you're encouraged and that you're having a good day and I will talk to you soon bye